What if I told you that the landscape of early America was shaped not just by explorers, but by geometry? In the 18th century, as vast territories were parceled out, surveyors wielded chains, compasses, and mathematical ingenuity to carve the land into property boundaries that still exist today. The key tool was the Gunter's chain, 66 feet long. It allowed for consistent measurement across wild terrain. Surveyors relied on Euclidean geometry, using triangles and right angles to create accurate plots, even when natural landmarks were scarce. They'd mark out a baseline, then use the principle that the sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degrees to map out rectangular lots. This geometric approach led to the famous checkerboard pattern seen in many rural American landscapes. The public land survey system, born from these methods, established a grid of townships and sections, making land sales and settlement orderly and fair. Without geometry, the patchwork of farms and towns might have been chaos. Can you imagine what your neighborhood would look like if it hadn't been shaped by mathematical precision?